Two smoking cabooses just arrived and I'm adding them on my railroad. And we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Owen and I'm continuing to build, improve and expand my Lionel Polar Express model railroad in Oak Gage. I've just received two new cabooses from Grzbowski's train store in Moosick, Pennsylvania. One of these is a Norfolk Southern Wide Vision. The other one is an older caboose that I bought new. And let me show you a little bit about that. This caboose is a Chesapeake and Ohio caboose made in the USA way back January 1991. So that's a 30 year old caboose, but I bought it new. The box that came in, everything that came with it says made in the USA. Here it is on my layout. The information from Lionel describes this as a square window caboose with smoke. There's a smoke unit inside that produces the smoke and there's also a cam operated little puffer on it that as the wheels go around and the cam is moved by the wheels, it puffs out the smoke. We'll demonstrate that in just a few minutes, but it's very cool to look at, very cool to see running. It's a Chesapeake and Ohio badged caboose and you can see it looks pretty good on the layout. Let me just kind of walk it around a little bit and let you see more. One of the cautions that comes along with this caboose is not to leave it sitting running on the tracks uh, with the electricity powered up or the smoke unit may overheat. If you look at it, there's lights in the windows and the cupola and in the back of the caboose. The windows in the front of the caboose are not lit. I'm not sure if that's intentional or something that's maybe just needs to be repaired. But I'm going to get this, this running. I've got it connected to a Milwaukee Road uh, Hudson steam locomotive and we're going to get it running and you'll see what it looks like as it goes by. On the back you can see there's a red flashing light. There's a window that shows on the back platform that you can see also that's lit. I'm going to let this sit here for a little bit and let the smoke unit warm up and see if we can get it puffing as it goes along. There's quite a bit of smoke coming out right now. That's one of the cautions that you have to be very careful not to overfill the smoke unit, which I don't think I've done, but I've got a lot of smoke coming out right now. You can see it puffing out with the cam puffing it. Well, it does seem to be the case that the uh, switch that controls the smoke unit also controls that flashing light on the rear of the cat of the caboose. So let me back it up now and we'll see if we can get any smoke coming out of it yet. It might need to heat up a bit more before it actually starts to smoke. We've got a little bit of smoke puffing. You don't know if you can see it or not yet, but there is a little bit puffing. That's an attractive uh, piece of rolling stock, in my opinion, with the uh, windows lit and with the uh, grab rails on the side, the stairs going up and down. There's a catwalk across the upper level, across the top of the caboose, that uh, is all very authentic looking. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm quite pleased with it as far as that goes.
went out in the caboose here, you can see the stairs going up to the platform in the front and the handrail and then the brake wheel that's on that uh, uh, front of the platform. If we go back across, you can see CNO for progress, Chesapeake and Ohio for progress, a motto in the road number 17606. And back there we've got all the uh, information about uh, you know where this comes from, Lionel. And then we have the back platform with the stairs going up there and the handrail. That's, uh, it's, it's the details that are on this caboose are, are quite nice. Across the top, that ladder goes up to the top and there you got the platform that they climb up on and the catwalk, the grab rails on the cupola, and the catwalk that goes down the length of the caboose to the platform and stairs going down on the front. Uh, that's just, I think, really, really nice the way they put that together. And this is a made in the USA piece of Lionel rolling stock from 1991. Uh, if I take a close look at the box that it came in, it'll tell us that, and I'm going to get this up here if I can. You can see that chassis system standard O square window caboose with illuminating interior flashing rear warning light and operating smokestack. Uh, if we look around on this on the uh, other side, we can see here it's, uh, it's 1990 Lionel Trains, Mount Clemens, Michigan, where they were headquartered at the time, made in Litho in USA. That's, uh, I think that's pretty neat. Uh, made in USA, boy, wish those days would come back. Now the challenge is going to be to connect up the, Berlin, the Nor uh, Norfolk Southern locomotive and then see if we can back it up and go pick up the rest of the train that's on the other side of the layout. Let's give it a shot. Well, I'm pretty amazed at that. Uh, I walked over to the other side to see if it would have coupled, and actually it did. It coupled together with the gondola cars. And let's see if we can get it to come across now to this side of the layout. I've got the smoke unit turned off on that caboose because I didn't want it sitting there overheating while it was sitting in one spot. So we'll bring that around to this side, and then we'll see how that works. So far, the train is making its way around. I've got the one spot in the track here where it goes through that switch that it tends to derail. We'll see if we make it this time. Well, that's not going to make it. Bringing up the rear is the Norfolk Southern Caboose. So why did I buy two cabooses from Grzboski's Train Stores? Well, the answer was because on the C&O Caboose, it was a really, really good deal. A really great price on that. The Norfolk Southern Caboose was a caboose that I really wanted to go with my Norfolk Southern freight train pulled by that diesel locomotive, but the C&O Look, uh, Caboose was just a great price from Grzboski's, so I bought that. Grzboski's is a great place to shop uh, their online store. I'll put a link to down below, but they have some really unique things. They have a lot of uh, great prices on a lot of Lionel uh, accessories and rolling stock and locomotives. So. I'm, a, I'm kind of a fan of theirs, and I, I appreciate the, the prices that you can get there, and I appreciate the ability to pick some stuff up that would be really kind of rare. This 30-year-old caboose is a great example of that, and the price was just, you couldn't beat it.
see a little smoke coming out of the smokestack on that one? I do have the smoke unit turned on on that one. And so there's a little bit of smoke coming out of there. Uh, we'll stop her right there and just again zoom in a little bit get a little close look at this this is uh, smoking nicely the windows are lit up nicely on the inside uh, there's figures in the cupola and in the back of the caboose that uh, you can see through the windows and I just really like this one the color is good on it the uh, lettering is really good on it uh, so all in all this has got very nice details and it's a very nice addition to my layout and it, it goes well on the Norfolk Southern uh, freight train even though it's uh, kind of from an earlier era than the locomotive that I have I think I can get by with that and I can enjoy that quite a bit well that'll do it for this video folks if you enjoy new product reviews consider subscribing to this channel Click the subscribe button and click the like thumbs up down below and share this video with anyone else you know that's into model railroading or on social media. As always, thanks for watching.